Okay, let's talk about this case because this is one that gets missed far too often. Yesterday, I presented the case of a previously healthy seven-year-old child who developed rapid neurological decline. He was confused, difficulty walking, weakness, and then a seizure. And the most important detail was encephalopathy. The child was not acting like themselves. Two weeks before the symptoms started, there was a viral illness. At the time, it seemed insignificant. He had just a cold. But in retrospect, it was the key that unlocked the diagnosis. So let's walk through how we think about this. Acute disseminated encephalomyelitis, also known as ADEM, is a sudden immune-mediated inflammatory disease of the brain that primarily affects children. It happens when the immune system, usually after some type of recent infection, mistakenly attacks the myelin, the protective covering of the nerve fibers in the central nervous system. This leads to widespread brain inflammation, causing rapid neurological symptoms. When a child presents with acute encephalopathy and multifocal neurological deficits, the differential is broad and the stakes are high. First, we rule out what can kill quickly. Infection, stroke, tumor, toxic or metabolic causes. The blood work in these cases is often surprisingly normal. Maybe a little bit of mild inflammation, maybe nothing at all. The spinal fluid tells us more. The CSF typically shows lymphocytic pleocytosis, an elevated protein, normal glucose, and most importantly, no identifiable pathogen. That means no signs of infection. And that tells us something critical. This is inflammatory. It's not infectious. Then comes the MRI. The MRI is the turning point. You're going to see multiple lesions, often bilateral or on both sides, predominantly in the white matter part of the brain, sometimes involving the basal ganglia or the thalamus. They're typically poorly differentiated, not confined to a vascular territory, and they don't behave like a mass. This is not a stroke. This is not a tumor, and it doesn't look like classic viral encephalitis. This pattern tells us that we're dealing with a diffuse inflammatory demyelinating process. This condition is most common in children with a peak between ages five and eight years old. Most cases occur one to four weeks after a viral illness or less commonly after an immune trigger like a vaccination. Now what's actually happening in the body to cause this? This is an immune mediated process. The immune system, after being activated by an infection, is gonna mistakenly attack the myelin in the central nervous system. Doctor, what the heck is myelin? Myelin is the insulation around your nerves. Think of your nerves like electrical wire. The wire itself carries a signal, but the plastic coating around it is what lets the electricity travel fast and efficiently. That protective coating is called myelin in our nerves. Destruction of the myelin can lead to inflammation, demyelination, and widespread neurological dysfunction. Basically, your brain short circuit. And that's why symptoms are multifocal. And that's why encephalopathy is required for the diagnosis. This is not a chronic disease. This is an acute immune misfire. The diagnosis is clinical and radiographic. You need acute encephalopathy, multiple neurological deaths, deficits, characteristic findings on the MRI, and exclusion of infection and other causes. There is no single blood test that makes a diagnosis. This is pattern recognition and experience matters. Now, because ADEM is caused by inflammation, treatment focuses on calming the immune system. The first line treatment is going to be high dose IV steroids. Steroids work by reducing brain inflammation, protecting the myelin, and helping symptoms improve faster. If a patient doesn't improve enough, Enough, we may use something called IVIG, and that may be given to modulate the immune response. And in more severe cases, something called plasma exchange can remove harmful antibodies from the blood. IVIG is like an infusion of healthy antibodies that calms an overactive immune system, and plasma exchange is like a blood filtering treatment that removes those harmful antibodies from the body. The most important factor is early treatment. When recognized quickly, most children recover well, often with little to no long-term neurological deficit. These cases are a reminder that not all encephalitis is infectious, not all abnormal MRIs or tumors, and not all neurological decline in children is permanent if we act in time. Now back to our patient. What happened? Once we recognized what was happening, we treated him quickly with high-dose IV steroids to calm the inflammation in the brain. And because his symptoms were so significant, we also gave IVIG to further quiet the immune response. 
response. Over in the next several days, his mental status, his strength, his balance steadily improved and with treatment and recovery, he did very well, which highlights how important early recognition in cases like this matters. Another case of patient-focused and compassionate care? Stay tuned next week and I'll go through another case.